Today, I am in Odawara. Since this is still my birthday weekend, I decided to go for a small trip. Since this is still my birthday weekend, I decided to go for a small trip. And today, I am exploring Odawara, which is a city very close from Tokyo. It's maybe one hour with the train. Odawara is basically known for the castle. At least I know it only for the castle. And later on, I will move to uh, Ryokan in Hakone. Hakone is kind of yeah, the place where you go for trips from Tokyo for like weekend trips and stuff. Looking forward, it's nice to finally change the environment a bit. I didn't leave Tokyo properly since, what was it, last year maybe. So I'm super happy to, to just be somewhere else and I hope to show you a bit of this as well. In some cities in Japan, the kombinis have a different color. In Odawara, all kombinis are brown. So I'm in front of the Odawara castle right now and it's very impressive. I'm not a big fan of our European castles. They are mostly very depressing for me, I don't know why. They're just huge. I don't know, I'm just not a fan of the architecture as well. Like of course it depends on the castle and depends on the country. Uh, there are some really cool castles in Berlin but in general they're just like big unnecessary buildings for me but the Japanese architecture it has like a lot of elegance for me I, I, I just love how elegant those castles are and I mean still just showing off money and, and power but at the same time like they, they do it in a really really aesthetic and nice style let's check what's inside
I just exit the Odawara castle and it was really a really cool experience. It's interesting to see that actually those castles, those Japanese castles aren't that big from the inside but they are huge from the outside. But yeah, I asked myself because this was a castle that was transformed completely to a museum but I wonder how life looked like in, in these castles. Like, I cannot, I just cannot imagine how, how life was ongoing there, like how people lived there. I visited also a second exhibition about samurai armor and me as a samurai expert, because I played through Ghost of Tsushima of course, it was, it was fascinating to see like those armors, they're super detailed and they're beautiful. Japanese armors are uh, art for me, they're really, really beautiful. right now uh, getting lunch in Odawara just ordered some yuzu shu yuzu shu as you might recall from my uh, Kit Kat video is alcohol based on yuzu let's let's give it a try it's super delicious it tastes like lemonade like it doesn't taste it doesn't taste like alcohol at all it's just pure lemonade and the Kit Kats actually matched the taste of it perfectly. <laughs> so first I have some karage. It's the Japanese fried chicken and it's just perfection. It's one of my favorite dishes here in Japan. It's very juicy. It's very juicy and very soft. I just love kar <coughs> I just love karage. My yakitori has arrived, and I love yakitori. Japan, like your food is amazing. If you never tried Japanese food, I'm sorry for you. So this is Momo, which is um, I, I, f I forgot the English name, but it's basically the chicken's ass. Let's try it. So delicious. One one of the best nakitori I ever had. It's super soft. It's like falling apart just in my mouth. Mmm. It's like it has like super delicate flavor. I love it. I, I really love it. It's, it's amazing. my final destination after uh, 40 minutes of bus rides the last one was really funny because it was going just in curves all the time the bus driver was a bit crazy driving really fast it was very very fun so I'm going to my Ryokan right now once I arrive there and like I unpack everything I'll show you how Ryokan here in Hakone looks like and I think for the rest of the day I will just rest because I'm super tired from the whole day I have arrived at my Ryokan and um, 
I'm super tired. I just actually just want to rest for the rest of the day. I had some plans. I wanted to go uh, and like sightsee around the Rio Can, but I'm, I'm just too tired. But still, I wanted to share um, this wonderful room with you because I'm in love with it. Like. I'm here in the entrance uh, to the to the room. It's kind of like a Japanese house with, with like space to put your shoes and there is a toilet. And then there is this beautiful room with tatami. Um like those are kind of let's let's call it for now just uh, matrices, Japanese matrices <laughs> that are uh, on the whole ground and we can basically sleep on this and I will have to sleep on this uh, there is a small table in the middle with two super cute chairs like those are the Japanese chairs to sit on tatami and I love them uh, I got a tea set to get some tea uh, with hot water small TV um, and this like very small room with with a chair and a table and the best thing about this room in my opinion is the view small waterfall just next to my room and i can hear the sound of water all the time and i love it there is also a bamboo garden, which is a bamboo garden, and I love bamboo gardens. And the view is really nice, with all those mountains around. The second, a second hotel, more mountain, more mountains. I'm just super glad to be here. Um, I needed a break from Tokyo. Tokyo is an amazing city, and I love it. And I feel actually pretty good in this rush that we have in Tokyo but taking a break and just being in the nature is also amazing and sometimes it's very needed so uh, for at least for today I will just relax do nothing be happy maybe take a walk later thank you very much for watching today I hope you liked the video if you did then please leave a like and leave a comment and subscribe to my channel because it's amazing if you subscribe yeah hopefully until the next time Janet.